I know, it sounds a bit cliche by now. You've heard this over and over again. That is the little things that we take for granted that suddenly become so cherished when they are taken from us abruptly. We've all been going through it and some still are. I mean, being locked up at home and having to endure the things that we could otherwise escape whenever we wanted. However, if you're in Ghana, the story is a bit different now. So last Sunday, uh, my wife and I decided to drive out and spend the day somewhere else. So where are we going? We are going to Krobite Garden, uh, trying to get away from the house <laughs> for a while. It's just, I mean, it's not that bad, but yeah, it's good to just go out and see something bigger than your four, four walls. And just have a bit of a, a breather before the week begins. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to the Krobite Garden. It's one of our favorite places, actually. So yeah. Plus, it was a long weekend with the Eid holiday, so why not? These are things that we used to do every once in a while until the lockdown happened. And so it meant more to us that we had the chance to just experience it again. Now, the interesting thing is, while we thought that we were getting away for some peace and quiet, it looked like a lot of people needed that too. When we arrived at Kakrobite Garden, it wasn't crowded, no. It's just more people than we're used to, especially in these times. I guess everybody was also looking for that Sunday getaway. Yeah, not just us. But I must say though, Kokrobite Garden is just so worth it. The greenery, the breeze, the carefully planned out landscape and having the beach close by, you can't go wrong. It's not in the city center, so it makes it feel like a trip which is fine because it has the experience of getting that, you know, getaway feel from the busy city. And oh, did I mention the food? The food is one of the main reasons why we go to this place. And to be honest, for a big eater like me, I wish the portions were bigger, but oof, it is so good. We love the pasta here and I had my usual special and my wife had a pesto pasta and after the food we took it easy lounging and it was peaceful. It was just peaceful. You don't know how much you need this until you're there, present and taking it all in. Taste, okay. And you like it. <laughs> okay. And look how cute this looks. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have it the last time you were here with Sabine? Yeah. Oh. Enjoy then. You like your coffee anyway, so you like your coffee, so I know. <laughs> Enjoy. How is it? Just like you like it. No, please, thank you. <laughs> and normally, the distance to get there from home makes it feel like a bit of a hassle, but in this case, we left home slightly earlier than usual at midday in order to have enough time to just be and enjoy the place for a few hours. A change of scenery or the change of scene does a lot for your senses. It's some of these little things that we take for granted until they're not there anymore. 
My wife had missed uh, swimming in the pool over there, for example, and I guess everything came together pretty well. It was a well-deserved change, and I guess the morale of this short story is you should remember one of these days to take some time off and enjoy some of the experiences that you've shoved in the closet somewhere because life is happening in some overwhelming way that is gradually becoming normal. The thing is, you don't even need to travel. It could be something you've not done in a while. Give in to those nostalgic moments from time to time and it will do a lot for your mind and soul. My name is Kwame and I'm a documentary filmmaker, photographer and voiceover artist here in Accra, Ghana. And this channel is my attempt to make sense of life and the human experience in general. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. Looking forward to catch you again another time. Peace.